grandfather went to the U.S. Naval Academy in the 60s and joined the sailing team his freshman year, his plebe year, partially because it's one of the only uh, electives you could take that allowed you to leave the academy the first year or two of the academy. You know, when classes out, you're not allowed to leave the premises. Upperclassmen are, they can walk into town, etc., go to a restaurant. They keep, they keep a pretty tight rein on you the first year or two. That happened to be one of the few sports that took you off the grounds, got you out of the academy for a little while. That's where he learned it and then just passed it down to us later in life. So yeah, we had a family sailboat you know, when I was probably seven. But my uncle had a cabin up on a lake in Wisconsin with a little dinghy sailor. I've got a picture of me, uh, eight years old, maybe seven, in a butterfly, which is a scow. Um, it's got a blunt bow, um, very much lit a lake design. And uh, he's guy that we rented our mooring ball from had some rental boats and that was one of those and he liked my dad and said oh you know just take it out whenever you want for free as long as it's not being rented. People oh. say their first you know their first sailboat experience was learn to sail on a sunfish. Uh, pretty ubiquitous design. Uh, mine happened to be a butterfly which actually has a mast with two shrouds. Two shrouds. And a little tiny forestay. No <laughs> jib but supports the math. Yep. a huge mainsail. So but you were looking at shrouds and stays and rigging when you were just a baby. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, we had a we had a 26 foot you know, boat. It was a Halsey hair shop design. It's actually built by Chrysler Marine. 26 foot. Yeah, just a little cabin cruiser type uh, sailboat, wow. cruising boat. In Wisconsin. Yeah, we used to spend yeah. every weekend out at the summer. Wow. Yeah, we get off work on Friday night. Drive the hour and a half up, and spend the weekend at the lake, come back Sunday night, and then you know, summer vacation. We would spend you know, two weeks on the boat, Lake Michigan, Lake Geneva, that sort of thing. So yeah, I was originally a freshwater lake sailor. And I read Contiki in junior you, high. You like, read Contiki. I read the book Contiki. Kiki. I read the book Contiki and I was like, I have got to cross an ocean one day. Wow. And it took a while. <laughs> really? But when did you start sailing in the ocean? I bought a windsurfer in college because it was the only thing I could, small enough to keep in my apartment. I transported my truck and I couldn't afford dockets or anything. So I had a sailboard for a while and then I had friends that had a laser, so I used to take the laser out. And I, they also had a thistle. Three of us would take out together. This is all, you know, coastal ocean stuff. I didn't start doing blue water until I got further along in life and get my own boat. What was that? Uh, my first keel boat was a uh, Bayfield, Bayfield 25, mm -hmm. I personally am. Then I had a, a Looters 27, also known as a uh, Sea Sprite 27, designed by Bill Looters, built by the CE Rider Yard. Kind of similar to a Cape Dory. Now I've got a J35. A J35. 